Why are there so many signs and symbols in the liturgies? Church official teaching. You get question 181. God knows that we are not only spiritual but also bodily creatures. We need signs and symbols in order to perceive and describe spiritual or interior realities. Whether it is a red rose, a wedding ring, black clothing, graffiti or AIDS armbands, we always express our interior realities through signs and are understood immediately. The incarnate Son of God gives us human signs in which He is living and active among us. Bread and wine, the water of baptism, the anointing with the Holy Spirit. Our response to God's sacred signs instituted by Christ Consistent signs of reverence, genuflecting, standing while listening to the gospel, bowing, folding our hands. And as though for a wedding, we decorate the place of God's presence with the most beautiful things we have, flowers, candles and music. In any case, signs always require words to interpret them. Gertrude von Lefort Symbols are the language of something invisible spoken in the visible world. Eric Fromm I consider the language of symbols to be the only foreign language that every one of us ought to learn.